Yeah, so the first day of class, I felt, whoa, pretty much out of my league here. <laughs> I felt like the students knew probably a lot more than I did, um, especially with things like, some things that they took for granted, I think, that people say, hey, big old notation. It was like, oh yeah, kind of like a walk in the park for most people. For me, I was like, well, I need like a more than a refresher. I kind of need to, to learn this in general. So the first couple of days, I was thinking, oh man, maybe, <laughs> maybe I've uh, gotten it over my head here a little bit, some of the mathematical concepts that I wasn't really familiar with. Uh, but I did enjoy, the one thing I did feel good about was the first day we started pair, pair whiteboarding. And I felt like I learned a ton just from that. I was like, wow, I'm learning a lot just from this at all. Like, you know, I, it's not often you get with somebody else and you whiteboard out a problem. It's just not typical. And then eventually I felt better. I kind of started grasping the material better. Um, I used the supplemental readings to like continue to, to study after class. Um, and yeah, so, and also some of the material is easier to grasp than others. And so I think that's just natural in any course you do. So eventually I started feeling more like, okay, this is right for me. I'm, I'm getting the material. I feel like I'm feeling more confident. And that was the biggest thing. I felt a lot more confident um, that I could like kind of walk into a room and uh, explain my thought process more and little, a little more advanced concepts and whiteboard solutions out to things that I never would have been, been able to before. Wow, cool. Uh, so then you're kind of getting through it. What's, uh, you know, towards the, uh, maybe the trying to find the job aspect of the 10X, what, what's different, what was unexpected for you that you thought was useful? Oh, useful like in the program? Yeah. One of the, one of the biggest things wasn't even the uh, algorithms and data structures, it was actually the career coaching. We had a really great guy named Iyad and uh, he taught us some LinkedIn kind of hacks, you know, basically just ways to make your LinkedIn pop. Um, negotiating, which was something I'd always been really afraid of doing. I had never done, which I did recently at my job, which I was, it was great. It was a great experience uh, doing that. Um, and so I feel like I learned a lot from him in general, like things, just tips on like how to approach interviews and how to approach negotiating and how to stand out uh, to recruiters, which is one of the really invaluable. Can you think of some, some of those tips that he gave you that you've learned? Yeah, so like uh, on LinkedIn, having consistency across your jobs, like for example, if you're looking for full stack jobs, putting full stack in your headline, putting full stack in your uh, job descriptions at each point, having short, succinct job descriptions, headline titles that are like appealing, not too long, but like kind of draw people in, uh, having a background photo against your uh, regular photo, liking articles, writing articles, liking the same types of articles, adding, um, adding uh, certificates. So I really revamped my LinkedIn. I thought I knew pretty well. I worked, I worked at a career center. So I thought, you know, I know this stuff, you know, I feel like I know probably more than most people in the class, but he definitely made me go back and redo it and uh, definitely helped out. I mean, my LinkedIn has been, I got a few job, um, people reached out to me through LinkedIn for, for jobs, which hadn't really happened before as much. What are they saying? What are they asking? Uh, you know, like direct, like, hey, do you want to like directly apply to this job? Um, one was for Make School, I believe, and reached out to me directly through LinkedIn. So I kind of cut through the um, all the noise to get right to the interview process. 